So we continue with our first speaker that actually is Ilza Eglaya, head of the board of Valmia Development Agency and the coordinator of this whole project. And we, give, we begin with her welcome words. So please. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, nice to see you after yesterday's party. <laughs> uh, it was fun and uh, um, yeah, nice to see you that you all managed to, to come here and to, to be here. Uh, yes, I am Ilze Eglaya from Valmiar Development Agency and um, yes, we coordinated all this project and uh, today we are here for the final event, final conference of the project, uh, teaming up. Um, and I believe that today, and to, uh, yesterday and today, it's actually a celebration for all the results that we have uh, achieved all working together. So I think we all deserve a round of applause. As you all know, the teaming up was the opportunity for students to create international uh, teams to try their hand at uh, international um, businesses and business uh, process. Uh, it also helped you to increase your skills, your confidence and your potential. And uh, that's, that's, uh, that's just great. When I was your age, I didn't have such opportunity. So take it all in. Um, and uh, it also, of course, was an opportunity for us, for the project staff and for teachers to uh, support your business ideas and your business, um, business projects. Uh, I believe that it was also an uh, opportunity for uh, project staff and especially for teachers because the project uh, uh, well, we are used to student companies, of course, but they usually are on a local or national level, uh, but it was uh, the next level. Yeah, we all had international teams, so it was also a great experience, learning uh, experience also for uh, teachers. So uh, how it all happened and how it all started. So uh, Valmir Development Agency had this uh, crazy idea three years ago uh, that we should uh, do something like that and we wrote a project and we applied um, and we handed in the project to Central Baltic program, Interreg Central Baltic program and uh, we were very happy to hear that they li really liked the idea and they supported the idea and they allocated funds for it. And um, so uh, this is the time that I uh, want to really thank the Central Baltic uh, Program Secretariat for believing in us, for funding the project. So we all can, we were all able to do all the activities. And especially, I want to uh, thank our uh, I don't know how to call. Uh, I, I, I want to say a guardian angel in the Secretariat, Monica Baluada. Um, uh, Monica, if you are. Uh, uh, listening, uh, thank you, and you are amazing, and thank you for supporting us uh, all the way. Um, when uh, when we created this idea, we had uh, in mind all those uh, great uh, activities, cross border uh, cooperation, international uh, business boot camps, face to face meetings, traveling to each other, to Finland, to uh, Estonia, to Latvia. Um, th the idea is uh, great and, and on Wednesday, this Wednesday, we had partner meeting and all the partners agreed on that, that the idea was actually very, very excellent. And uh, two years ago in uh, June, 2020, we started all the preparations, we started the project, we were all very excited. And then the reality hit us. <laughs> the famous friend COVID came and um, yeah, and it changed everything. And the marathon of adjusting, canceling events, postponing events, changing the idea uh, happened. Um, uh, I, I think that uh, you will all agree that it was quite challenging, but today standing here, I can say that we did it. And 
that's why we also, uh, I think, can have a round of applause to ourselves. We did it, guys. Um, during this whole process, um, I think for the project staff and for the teachers, uh, it was such a, such a learning experience. And uh, um, I think that I can uh, um, say uh, and speak for everybody that we are now, uh, I mean the teachers and that the project staff and probably also students, I think that we are now problem solving, flexible approach and self-motivation experts <laughs> because otherwise um, otherwise I think it uh, wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be possible so I want to thank uh, thank you all for your patience for your hard work and uh, and pushing through so thank you uh, to project staff thank you to teachers to students to mentors experts uh, investors, people in secretariat, to everybody. Thank you. Third time, a round of applause, please. Uh, and yesterday, um, I heard people saying today, yesterday could be actually the last day of the project. It, it was just so incredible, so so exciting and I agree I loved every second of yesterday actually every second it was just yeah great uh, we we heard 11 teams uh, we listened to 11 business uh, project pitches and uh, we saw 11 prototypes um, I think it's just just amazing results and um, our students you are you are you're great um, yeah, uh, it sounds maybe a little bit weird when uh, older people like me say that you are the future <laughs> of, uh, of the world, but you actually are. So thank you and uh, good job, guys. Um, and yes, uh, so today is, uh, today is the final uh, conference of uh, teaming up. And uh, we will hear wonderful group of experts and, and students and we will speak, think, and uh, discuss student companies. Um, and uh, we will hear to, uh, or we will share our experiences, lessons learned. So uh, join us, tune in, and enjoy. And I wish, uh, wish you all a fruitful and inspiring day. Thank you. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not very, I'm not really sure that this applause section that you gave was truly genuine, right? It was like, yeah, thank you, we made it, right? I, I want a little bit better applause because we're going to have a lot of speakers today, right? I want you to try something, right? Imagine that you're applauding to your parents. How would you do that? Okay, good, good, good. Imagine you are applauding to, um, you know, Elon Musk is coming on stage. How would you applaud to him? Okay, yeah. Cardi B is on stage. How would I apply to her? Mmm, that didn't work. And now, if you come on the stage, how would you like to others to applaud to you? Is that it? Is that it? You on the stage, you're doing the best speech in the world, and everybody's like, yeah, great. How would you applaud instead? More, more, stronger. Okay. Thank you very much. It sucked. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on, and I hope that you're going to applaud like you applaud to yourself to the next speaker, and next speaker, and next speaker from now on. Okay? Can we make a deal? Because the next speaker has done a great job to all of you. And the next speaker is Anna Marie Berzinha, and she is the uh, Teaming Up Project Manager of Almeida Development Agency, and she knows every one of you, and you should know her too. And the presentation is going to be called Teaming Up Project Results and Sustainability, right? It's a serious talk. Applauding like you applaud to yourself. Good.
Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Teaming Up project also from my side. Today, I would like to go through with you the, in the process of Teaming Up project, the results that we created, our experience, and the sustainability of the project. Teaming Up is a Central Baltic uh, program project that brought together organizations from uh, Valga, Valmier, and Vanta. This project was coordinated by Valmier Development Agency, and during these fruitful two years, we managed to boost the confidence and entrepreneurial skills of pupils from Latvia, Estonia, and Finland. We also managed to support them in developing international business companies. And here, I would just really like to emphasize that the cross-border cooperation was the salt of the project. In addition to these goals, this project was a safe and encouraging space for youngsters to try their hand at business. This was the moment when they managed to go through the business process from A to Z, starting from developing their own teams, business ideas, and then coming to the end with a prototype. Here, this video will explain the project in a very, very exciting and interesting way. Please, the video. It was already mentioned before that this project took place during COVID-19 times. And I imagine that all of you are also wondering how it happened. And here, we really have to say that this project was full of learnings and, in and insights. It really taught us resilience, adaptability, and just the ability to transform, adjust, and be flexible according to the very hard circumstances. Here, we successfully managed to transform all the face-to-face -face activities that we planned, the exciting boot camps we wanted to organize in Latvia, Estonia, and Finland into online environment activities. And we have to say that we really, really did a good job. And you can see in the pictures how excited the youngsters were to participate in such online activities. So, from our side, we had three key to successes on how we made the online environment work. First one was the desire from all the people in the project to always do our best, even when it seemed impossible. Here, the key was really to always try to do the best, offer the most quality content we can possibly have, and to do all this for the young people sitting here in this room. Secondly, it was also the, our opportunity to organize interactive and engaging online workshops. I also dare to say that we became the masters of online education. We developed a workshop structure to join together 10 online activities that helped the student teams to, to bring their business ideas even further. Here we learned to use many different platforms such as Kahoot, Mentimeter, we spent countless hours in Zoom, and in WhatsApp conversations. And all of this still brought themes to the end result, and that is a great success. Okay. Thank you, Al. And third, you can also imagine that all the time being online, it can be tiring, it can be hard. So we paid extra attention to boost students' motivation and to support them as much as possible. We are all human and we do all realize that spending eight hours online in school and also in extracurricular activities such as the Teaming Up project is hard, which is also the reason why we created a gamified motivational program where students can collect points to win grand prizes. And the grand prizes were educational trips to Tallinn and Stockholm. When it comes to Teaming Up, the team were the real heroes. They are sitting right now here in this room and they have been with us for the last two years. 
there will be no teaming up without a team. And I really want to give a huge applause for everyone who made the project a success. This team is supported by Monica Balwade from the Joint Secretariat, and her advice and warm, encouraging words were always very welcome. She also offered us her guidance into making the very best possible solutions that we could possibly come up with. But still, the most important part are the students. These students from Latvia, Estonia, and Finland managed to develop their own business ideas. Most of them are eco-friendly, innovative, and sustainable. And they managed to do it all online, from the business idea development to creating their own product prototypes and designing them. They managed to organize it all just in WhatsApp conversations. And for the first time, they met just a month ago in Tallinn. So you can also see the picture of how happy and excited they were. And just yesterday, they stepped on this very stage present their business ideas to investors. By the way, the business ideas are displayed in a shelf nearby the coffee table. So make sure that you go ahead and check them out. So these, these students deserve an even bigger hand of applause for the, all their hard work. <laughs> and then about the results. We are proud to say that all of these quantitative results are made out of hard work, love for entrepreneurship, and also care for quality education. But still, the results are important, but what was the most important part of the teaming up was the process. Was our chance to solve all the problems, overcome the obstacles, and create the very best out of very hard circumstances. And all of these will be the things that will be written down for the future, but I really hope that today where you leave is the feeling that it was so much more than just the numbers you see on the screen. Thank you very much. <laughs>